Rising up like phoenixes I'm tired of push to the ground Speaking my heart like it really is Cause I can't take another no I see, I like, I go, I get No one can hold me back I see, I like, I go, I get Hello, welcome to yet another time with the consulting My name is Chacha Wabara and today we'll be reviewing Hellbound. It's a 2021 Netflix Korean drama with six episodes and was directed by Yeon San Hon, who was the director of Train to Busan. His movies or his productions are this the world is coming to an end, something is really wrong with the world, the world is not as it ought to be kind of thing, and he's really good at it. At the moment, Hellbound ousted Squid Game. Hellbound is a drama full of suspense and is amazingly brilliant. I'll meet you on the other side after the highlights of the drama. Thank you. drama this drama was blood chilling this drama was a, a, a drama that you would want to you know stop watching I, when i saw six episodes i was like okay let me just try and i wasn't just trying i you know it kept me up in the night i kept on watching it because i wanted to see everything till the end this drama is so is in fact it's more than squid game i'm telling you Obound has amazing actors and actresses like Yo In Ha, Kim Hong Hyo, Park Jon Min, Won Jin Ha, Jang Hik Jun, Kim Dong Yoon, Kim Shung Ruk, Ru Young Soo, and Lee Ri. Like I said earlier, directed by Yeon San Ho. You will find out that this drama started in a gripping way. The effects that were used in this drama were epic, like exceedingly brilliant. From the moment this drama started, from the second the drama started, there was action. Enough to move the audience to watching this drama to see what it all entails, which is what the director, Yoon San Ho, is really good at. He has a way of, you know, carrying the interest of viewers keeping them hooked on whatever production that he has going on, you know, to get that desired hook. And that was what happened in Hellbound. Now, Hellbound has to do with this guy. It's called Jung Sin Su. Jung Sin Su is a guy, a young man. If you've seen Hashtag Alive, he also acted in Hashtag Alive. So this guy, they call him Improv. You know, he talks about these strange creatures. It's about God's punishment talks about how God now is no longer going to be waiting till you know the time end of time before exacting his punishment but that you know God begins to exact his punishment as you are living an effort to put people on that check like no longer would humans be living as they want to live but that the fear of the punishment and the wrath of God will keep them streamlined so they are called the new truth which is Jung Sin Su's church or movement, or whatever they're called, the New Truth, and they have a way of projecting, talking about this to create awareness. Meanwhile, there are these strange creatures that look like chimpanzees, you know, monster chimpanzees that come out from nowhere. Or before that time, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Before, you know, different humans, different places get a revelation, get this warning that hey, they call you by your name, you just see a phantom face. You know, and voice telling you that, hey, so so and so time, in so so and so days, you will die and you are bound for hell. The people who receive this message get so scared, get frustrated, they are so scared, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. And, you know, it begins to instill fear in people. And then there's the new truth movement telling people that this is God's exact punishment on mankind. Now, this drama progresses and you see different characters. You have the Sue Love Femme that handles those cases for people who want to fight against these teachings of the movement. So they handle the clients and they give them the best possible relief that they can find. And then moving forward, there's this detective who 
um, has a child, his wife died violently, and then six years later, the killer is released from jail. He didn't even go to jail. He went to a psychiatric quick evaluation, psychiatric treatment. Was all the punishment he got for killing, you know, this police detective's wife. And the police detective can't do anything because, of course, the law gave that ruling, and there's nothing to do. John Jingsu is now saying that that guy ought to be punished more appropriately than the punishment he got. And he indoctrinates this police officer's teenage daughter. So while the police officer thinks that his teenage daughter is with her friend, this new truth uh, prof takes this girl and they both kidnap this guy, the assailant, the guy who had been released from his jail sentence or whatever you call it, that killed her mom and then made her kill the man. After that, they burnt him in such a way that the, the cops will look like the cops of those monstrous looking creatures that come to kill the victims on a normal day. Now, as I was watching this drama, I was like, okay, what is going on? What is happening? Is it that these monstrous looking creatures coming from a phantom place from the wall or anywhere or are doctored or engineered by people somewhere or what which was what it was leaning to and then we have the lawyers that we are fighting the lawyers at some point they started victimizing them and we have the arrowheads the arrowheads are one segment of the new truth who believe that it's not enough to sensitize people through talks but you have to inculcate violence to make people listen to you and they were really doing so much like if you come and uh, talk against the new truth and this hellbound creature so they would just look for you and beat you up destroy your things you know make life hell for you and it goes on and on now we see the world changing the world as we know it the world as korea knew it changing drastically when there was now a public demonstration of a lady and every saw because there were live tvs and everything everyone saw these creatures coming out and devouring this lady and taking her soul everywhere became white instantaneously everybody bowed to worship or bowed in fear okay, so the world changed the, the only people that had the power now were those arrowheads and the new truth people now fast forward to when the police officer discovered that his daughter actually you know was involved in the killing of the man that killed his wife he went all out to look for this prof guy and he got to meet him incidentally that was the day john jinsu was supposed to die and john jinsu told him that see listen i was also given this revelation i saw my own that 20 years after that day that i was going to die which happens to be today now you have two options is it that you go and tell people that i also got this revelation which means that i also have seen which would you know destabilize the belief of so many people or you keep quiet you bury me silently secretly and then you go home to your daughter and nobody will ask anything the policeman's hands were tied and in front of him he saw this jong jinsu being killed by those creatures again now after that we don't see anything again about this man and his daughter you know he goes home he sees his daughter they hug you just see that you know, it's an incomplete thing and it just ends there you know scattered scenes and incidents now we also have the lawyer the female lawyer that helped the first public victim yeah or uh, not really the first public demonstration victim she they helped her you know smuggle her kids out of course they had already branded her a saboteur you know they refused to bow down so these arrowheads were all out for all her colleagues and really dealt a number on them so much so that they beat up her mom and killed her mom beat her up beat her up so much that she almost died the next thing we're seeing is a new scene i was even confused it was four years later and then we see this guy is is a TV producer and they are producing things for New Truth. So there's a new president of New Truth. I'm not going to say everything that happened. There are people that are now imposing it on people. Children calling out their parents as sinners. My father is a sinner. I don't want you to punish my father. Forgive me. Forgive us. Forgive my father. You know, different things. The world just changed. You just see a, a member of a family outing his relatives or her relatives 
that um, they are sinners and that God's punishment should be meted out or you know decreased. Meanwhile, some people will get this revelation of themselves dying, and this soul movement will get in touch with them and help them either you know make their dying secret for them and hide their family because it happened that when any person is killed by those creatures, his family will be left to bear the brunt of it. The new truth was publicizing this event to make more people come to their church. Um, they were getting confessions here and there, and life was just not how people envisaged it to be. There was no more freedom anymore. There was a lot of greed, there was a lot of corruption, but hidden inside the new truth. People kept on fighting. Like this TV producer, his wife gave birth to a newborn baby, and the, the wife wanted to go see the baby, like, you know, take a peek at the baby. And as she was just going because she wanted to video the baby and just sent a, you know, a short clip to her husband, all she saw was this thing, this, telling her newborn baby, you are hell bound, you are to die in three days time. And they were all confused. How can a newborn baby be full of sin? What has the newborn baby committed? Is it, what have they done from their own fault? Were they the ones that transferred their sin to the baby? And so this TV producer started looking for ways to mitigate this whole thing. And then finally, they now got in touch with the Sioux movement. Before he could get his wife to the Sioux people, the wife had already gone to New Truth. And then New Truth saw the baby. And they were like, you know what? If people get to know that even newborn babies will get this judgment as well, then our movement will not be the eighth thing. And everybody will be like, okay, if a newborn baby could get it, then that means everybody is without sin. And this thing is not a religious phenomenon, but something that we really need to pay attention to, to know what's up with it. Chicket. So they tried all their best to get hold of the child, to even kill the child. Parents went on the run, the protection of this show movement. And at the end of the day, so many things happened. The, the baby's parents had to sacrifice their life for the baby. But get this, when they surrounded the baby, the creatures did not get through to the baby. They took the souls of, of the baby's father and mother, the TV producer and his wife, and the baby survived in the presence of people and on live stream. So everybody was like, oh my goodness. Meanwhile, the new true people were trying to stop everything and at the end of the day, they failed. The drama ended in a way that depicted that there should be a continuation. But you know, with Netflix dramas and movies, you never know. If it has to come, that will be in 2022. The Korean TV entertainment is moving to a place that is so excellent. I'm so happy because I can remember 10 years ago, I used to tell my friends about Korean dramas and they would just look at me like, you know, I'm crazy. But right now, everyone is watching Korean dramas, Korean movies, and it's such a if you haven't seen Hellbound, I think you should see the drama. I, you should see it. I'll be rating the drama a 10 over 10. It had the effects. The effects were crazy. In fact, the effects, you know, as much as the storyline, the storyline not so much because there were pauses, but I will still rate it a 10 over 10 because, the, you know, what was good overshadowed the bad. It was such an amazing, amazing drama. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. If you've seen it, please leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, Please hit on the subscribe button, turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up. Yeah? Deal? Okay. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. No one can hold me